Hi, Delibob here. This is my second installment in explaining concepts using Kerbal Space Program. Today we will be covering the introduction to orbital maneuvers. If you have not seen the introduction to orbiting, I recommend you check it out by clicking here. Alright, let's get started. When a craft is in orbit around an object, such as the space shuttle around the Earth, there are a few ways the craft can change its orbital path. By firing its engines in a certain direction, the craft can change its speed and direction, also known as velocity. When a craft undergoes this, it is called a maneuver. There are three main maneuvers and their opposites a craft can use. Today, I will talk about the simplest ones, prograde and retrograde. Prograde is essentially adding energy in the direction the craft is already moving. In orbit, this effect adds energy to the orbital path, increasing the orbital height on the opposite side of the body you are orbiting. At first glance, this might seem counterintuitive. Think of it this way. On the Earth, jumping harder will send you higher into the air before you come back down. Likewise, going faster in orbit will send the craft even further away from the orbiting body before it comes back down. You can see this in effect here, where the shuttle fires its engines prograde. The distance from the planet grows on the opposite side of the orbit. Cool! Now that we have a better understanding of prograde, let's talk about retrograde. No, this doesn't have anything to do with test scores from the 80s. When talking about orbital maneuvers, retrograde is the opposite of prograde. You're thrusting in the opposite direction of travel. Like Superman trying to stop a train, or me trying to stop my car from rolling down a hill. As expected, this opposite force has an opposite outcome in orbit. Rather than increase the distance on the opposite side of the planet, the distance decreases when thrusting retrograde, as shown here. This is how astronauts aboard the International Space Station return to Earth. After climbing aboard a return vessel, the craft merely thrusts just a bit retrograde so that the craft dips into the atmosphere. Using the drag from the air, the vessel is then able to slow down enough to return to solid ground. I hope this video has helped you understand orbital maneuvers a bit more. In my next video, we will look at some of the other orbital maneuvers that can be used. If you liked these videos and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching!